Eternity of pain, you say? Well, where's the rewards information? It's May Events News Day, and we could literally get any champion and any kind of event at this stage. Kabam, remove the higher chance to get full energy refills in Act 5.3.6, ending the farming method. Sort of. And much, much more. Breaking news, Jean Grey has been resurrected. Oh, wait. I'm being told she's dead again. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, she always be dead, then alive, then dead again. Ah, oh, classic Jean Grey. Right, you spicy lot, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe, or post notifications on all, please. That would be very, very handy and helpful of you all. Thank you all. And now we kick things off with Eternity of Pain. If you wanted an event which was uh, Control C, Control V, so copy paste from uh, last year, then hey, you know, that is what we're going to have. Except with this one, if you aren't a Paragon player, you will find yourself not getting the more spicy rewards and feeling really kind of like annoyed and kind of a little bit meh when it comes to trying to get to a new titleage. And if I'm being honest, I don't give a damn. I've got plans in order to be Paragon, but I'm certainly not spending in order to achieve it. In any case, 11th of May is when we're going to see this new Eternity of Pain drop. And as well, it's going to be the same situation of uh, Summer of Pain. Control C, Control V. Aha. Uh -huh. 1v1 fights uh, release weekly, and then the other one will be removed. You will get gold as the rewards. Why is it gold? Because it kind of like adds a, like a, a chip-based system, in that the more chips or gold that you get, which is one piece of gold, it will mean that you will achieve an objective. Once you achieve said objective, you will get a threshold of where you are in a peak of those particular rewards, and that is where you could either start, end, or continue on. So that's that's kind of like how that works. So you have special solo objectives. I hear you very well. We are very will be generously gifting one gold. Ha 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 ha! Very funny. Very good. Yes, very nice. There's also other things with this. Uh, you will be tasked with dealing with all four of the previous fights in one painful path. Fret not though, as you will be able to bring three champions on this path. So it's going to be a case you can be you can bring one champion in to fight, uh, and then it's like okay, use that one champion, all is well. And then it's like okay, well on the final one, which is June eighth, you will have the, uh, the the with all four of the previous fights. So it's not as extensive as it was. That's. Is that, that's kind of weird, because it was, wasn't it just like, you know, one, was it like more weeks? Was it five or six weeks or something? I want to say it was a bit more, so it's kind of been each week for five weeks. Has this been downgraded then a little bit? Huh, yeah, it is. Look, uh, so this is from last year. So we had Rogue, Mr. Sinister, one, two, three, 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 nine, nine weeks. Wow. Mm, I, that's, that's very weird that it's kind of like gone downgraded a little bit. There must be reasons as to like why that why that is. Maybe like Kaban want to move on to something else. Maybe development time on it. Uh, I don't know. Maybe it's a case it's like it's shorter but more painful, and then it's like the rewards are better. I I don't know. I don't want to speculate on something that's like right. That's weird. But maybe that gives them a justification not to put out so much heftier rewards because it's a shorter period of time that they would run it. Because it seems like okay, well it's like all done by June, so that's kind of like they're just doing it per update. Which I guess in some ways does kind of increase the interest in it rather than going, okay, well, we're doing this for two bloody months and uh, by the end of it, everyone's bored to death, which I was bored to death last year. But yeah, Summer of Pain, if you like, if in comparison with, with the stuff like, Kabam didn't put out rewards information because that's, I know, I know a lot of people have been saying what are the rewards going to look like and stuff like that, but it's like Kabam haven't even like put out any information on it. And I think there is something from Kabam. Me I mean, the rewards last year, kind of like with this kind of like a peak situation where you got to choose stuff. Do I think it's going to be super spicy? Uh, I, I, I don't. I would say yes to a degree, but do bear in mind it's a new year and the meta shift, and we have a new progression title now. So yes, it's more than likely they will change that. But maybe they'll only change that for those that are Paragon rather than those that are, um, say, Thronebreaker and below. In any case, on the question of rewards, because it was asked, and Command Mickey says, well, like we said in the post, the rewards aren't going to be revealed until the event starts. We don't have anything to say on that front. I mentioned uh, and I mentioned the Paragon objectives when it was announced. They're just nothing. 
uh, there's just nothing to say right now. Okay, well, we all know that, that that's how things are going to be prioritized with that. Uh, very much good luck to everybody that's going out now for a grind to get um, rank 4 6 star materials. I'm definitely kind of planning my Karina's Challenges run going into the uh, the next foreseeable months, month, months, and uh, kind of figuring out if I have time to kind of do whatever I need to do in order to achieve that uh, Paragon titleage because I'm not spending in order to achieve it. I'm never spending in this game again. So uh, we'll have to we'll have to see what the future holds with that. But uh, in any case, move on to the next thing. And now it is new content information day to day. At 10 a.m. PST, you'll see information on the new champions and as well some of the new stuff that's coming into game in the foreseeable week. It's a very old time because you kind of go like here, like I'm looking at the Marvel Contest Champions YouTube channel and I'm like, Oh, last month they did the champion reveal on like this, I want to say this day or kind of like close to, sometimes they do it on the Friday, sometimes they don't. It may be a case early, um, close to the update. So I will kind of like um, concede that point. But you kind of think that there would be something like, I don't know, uh, like a reminder for the video for the champion reveal coming. And that would be something like, okay, that's, that's cool. Uh, maybe it's going to be later on today. I don't know. It'd be maybe a surprise if it kind of like pops up and we see the new champions in action from that particular uh, video as I said if they do it they may even do it on Saturday I don't know but it's a very weird time because you kind of go like well, wouldn't, wouldn't it be best to like see some announcements now I would want and you might be saying Rich why would you just throw this image up here of this uh, person I can't remember what film it's from but I definitely kind of like if someone said the film I know it the reason I'm throwing this particular image on screen right now is because Marvel Studios threw out a massive spoiler for Marvel um, Multi Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness and I'm like okay look talking of leaks and things like that it's very weird that we have now gone through a month where we have not seen any leaks by the normal sources as to what is what champions are dropping into game that's a very weird thing in a very good way but I do find it kind of weird that there's other Marvel games out there that are be have been able to or have the uh, availability as Marvel licensee holders of game games licensees holders uh, have been able to post stuff about Multiverse of Madness in particular Marvel Future Fight which have been able to put oh so those are the designs there those are the character designs those are the, the, the characters they're going with and putting in game okay why haven't why isn't Kabam allowed to do that and all this was done on the 23rd. So for the last week, this this has been like just put out. So I, I don't know how, if there is some kind of issue as to like Kabam are not allowed to post anything on, until X date, uh, but Marvel Future Fight are like, I, I don't, I don't get that. That's, that's kind of, it's kind of, kind of weird, but things are weird with Marvel Contest and Kabam. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know. Uh, I think there will probably be some sort of tie-in. I mean, Kaban would be pretty pretty dumb if they didn't do any kind of like special tie-in event for Multiverse of Madness with being such a hyped uh, film. That's out next week. Got to get your tickets. Go see it now. Go see it. No, not now. You can't see it now. I'm sure people will see it illegally. No, don't see it illegally. Go and support cinema because, um, hey... That's what you're meant to do, I think. And now onto a bit of a sensitive subject, and that is farming energy refills in lower content. So, as a lot of you know, if you go back to return to some old content, you may find like resources, revives, health potions, and full energy refills or smaller energy refills. Now, here's the thing: by returning back to some of that old content, a lot of people have been using that as a method to, uh, to kind of like farm these particular resources, which has been is good in some ways because it's all about kind of grabbing stuff to do things like yeah questing and battlegrounds and other stuff like that so, and it's a method in game like to, to, to remove it it's like saying you're wiping away methodology from what is what six to seven years of being able to access that particular uh, method of kind of like farming it it's like you know oh it's like removing health potions from realm of legends you know it's just something that if Kabam did they'd be very 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 stingy for do, for doing that uh, because it's part of like the the tapestry and history of uh, marvel contest but in any case to the point and to the point is that a lot of players have been saying that 5.3.6 is not giving out energy refills as much now we did talk about this on wednesday 
but it needed further research and it definitely needed like a further look into from Kabam's perspective. And it looks like we finally got that response on matters, which Kabam Mike has kind of like, well, uh, closed this all off by saying that, sorry for the late response, the change is intentional. So they have actually changed this but went out earlier than it should. We meant to get this out next month and plan to announce it as well. While it's not a problem that there are some areas in game that you can replay to find some items and resources, there shouldn't be a space where it's consistently more profitable on energy that, it, that what is used. This is not sustainable for energy. We apologize for lack of communication and we, and we will be cleaning up this thread and closing it as well because it went off the rails very quickly as normally things do. Uh, but yeah, like that gives sadly the the answer there that it is indeed uh, it is indeed it's been nerfed. So uh, that's that's actually pretty pretty sad. But it's not doom and gloom. There's a lot of stages now. You need to kind of like if you kind of feel like one area is not a good area to go and farm, choose another. The reason that I bring this up is that you know um, if I can go to a new screen properly, there we go. So, uh, so that, I mean, there you can see. There's a full energy refill right, right there. There will be places you can go into lower content to grab to grab this, and this is like something that you know, I, especially one thing that I've been trying to do when I've gone to non-spending is find ways. If Kabam remove stuff like the ability to get full energy refills uh, from certain places then that's fine whatever kabam i'm gonna go grind out a little bit of arena and grab the units if kabam kind of like do anything elsewhere then i'll go somewhere else there's always going to be places to go and grab you just need to find some good spots in lower content to grab stuff um and yeah like you, you'll get some w's uh where you can so good luck to everybody in finding maybe a new location and Sad thing is, like, if Kabam are going to remove this, you, you need to you need to move to a different place to kind of go grind, and kind of like go like, Kabam, take that. I'm going to moving on, moving on to some somewhere else. But yeah, sad times with it. They're not changing that anytime soon. So we've got to adapt, overcome. But don't do like Bear Grylls and drink your own piss. Just just don't do that, please. And now we're going to end the show with a bit of funniness. And uh, I saw this and I thought, let's, let's kind of like, let's, let's just end in a bit of a laugh. Because sometimes, you know, things in game are a bit scuffy. So <laughs> I saw this title and I just thought, what the hell? Perry in Battlegrounds is almost completely broke. It doesn't, <laughs> it doesn't happen every match. But when it's not working, it's not working. The lag on the Perry is so ridiculous. There's no way to time it. <laughs> I, just, I just like the way the people are just like Perry, and then, then people have put people have put like put Perry, and it's like then a flurry of kind of like <laughs> of things. Perry, like this is this is my favorite because I remember a, a show called Harry Enfield. Um, was it Harry Enfield and Chums? I think it was. It's like it was like when I was a, when I was when I was really young. It, they used to like it was was played and it was like it's just so funny i like harry enfield in any case but like um uh as well kathy burke who this actress is here is playing a character called perry hello mr person mr person can i have a jam sandwich please mr person it's uh it's it's just it's it, it's so funny like it's a very uk thing so if you're not in the uk or don't kind of get the comedy then hey you won't you won't you won't get it um sad to be you but in any case uh it was just it's just funny to see this this forum thread and as well, it's sad as well because Zanzibar was like, I think that's enough Perry jokes for today. Closing the thread due to derailment, and they're talking about you know Perry and and from the the, uh, the, the cartoon and other stuff. Uh, and I, if Perry is a is a bug and not not a platypus, do we get compensation? <laughs> what and is that? Which Perry? Perry Mason? Tyler Perry? Would be nice to know which Perry you're speaking about. But what about what about things that no one mentioned? Um, no one mentioned Matthew Perry. Like, could this be any more about Perry? Like, friends, Chandler, Chandler Bing, Perry, Matthew Perry. Oh dear, it's you know it's good to have a bit of a laugh sometimes, especially when the game do be scuffy. But in any case, that has been a video. I'm gonna go and grab that full energy refill before Kabam decide to target somewhere else in order to kind of remove what was fun about elements of this game. Uh, but yeah, you have a lovely weekend, whatever you're gonna do. Check out some other content, uh, which is here. Oh. By the way, I actually forgot. Thank you to those who support the channel as a YouTube member and as a Patreon. You're on screen right now. Appreciate you very much for doing that. 
and also those that support on twitch.tv slash richthemanlive. I'm going to be back live streaming a bit later on. I hope, if not, it's going to be Monday. And yes, that is the ending card now. Thank you very much for supporting the channel and uh, and stuff. And I'll see you uh, uh, later on. We got the 10 a.m. PST, new content information drop. Be there or be a square or a circle or a rectangle. You do you at the end of the day. You be those things.